Life is a journey made up of experiences, some good, some bad, some happy, some sad. We may all be different, but we are connected through the fact that no matter who we are, our stories all have hills and valleys. And so tonight, we dedicate this episode to those who get run over by life only to get up, brush themselves off, and run their own race. Welcome to Sim Soul Sessions. Everybody and welcome to tonight's show. So our guest tonight is Patrice White, a young woman whose determination has allowed her to turn her derailments into drive. She's with us tonight to talk to us about her journey. But before we do that, we're going to check in with one of our season three guests to find out what's going on with him. And so with that, we take a seat and we say good night to you, Chuck Fender. How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, blessed love. How are you doing, Simone? I am good. How are you, Chuck? I'm not bad. I'm just here chilling, you know what I mean? Um, I wasn't driving, so I just pulled over and said, let me just make it happen, you know? But, oh, good. So, oh, good. We thank you for taking the time to check in with us. So, boy, yeah. what a show your show was, Chuck. <laughs> what yeah. a show. Yeah, um, people, all, people all over the world was just calling me. And from all over that. the world? All over the world. Um, my, phone, my phone almost crashed through the amount of call that people been, has been calling me and this, uh, a lot of stuff. But I'm so, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm grateful for all the support, you know what I mean? Or people, you know what I mean? Reach out to me and say, yo, you're not the only one in a situation like this, you know what I mean? This person been through it, you know what I mean? I've been through it. So, you know, so I would be grateful you know, to all the support, the people that reach out to me tremendously. You were going through issues with your mother. I don't, you yeah. haven't made contact. She hasn't made contact with you still, right? <laughs> no, she, she just called me and, and uh, I think she just called me and was like, you know, she know, I have nothing to do with um, Jamaica and all of this, but it, it don't know, understand her thing, you know what I mean? You don't know, um, I'm on the back of field fighting for equal rights and justice, you know what I mean? Fighting for black people rights and, you know what I mean? What we've been through, you know what I mean? over the years where ancestors been through, you know, and then I'm feeling that eternally in, you know what I mean, as a, as a youth, you don't know, so your mother, you know what I mean, because of your complexion, because of our look, you know, my skin color, you know what I mean, so you don't know, it was just, but I understand, you know what I mean, we just understand after your show, mm -hmm. I, re, I come to the realization and say, yo, it's just, it's just like a brick wall, so I have to just understand that, I still love and care for her, wish her all the best but you don't know just have to just understand that you know what i mean that is just how she is and she's not gonna budge none at all yeah so are you in a better place now chuck do Definitely, you feel do you I feel mean, at peace with that realization and yeah, that decision yeah, because you, see, you know what i mean you know your show is so powerful and the people that may reach out to me it's like a healing it's like a therapy you know what i mean it's like a counseling you know what i mean and so many people all over the world reach out to me and as a dj don't know hold it you know because you know i mean i was you know a lot of people see me on stage and mashing up all the stage shows and having the big songs and but you don't know when i come off stage you know i mean i always you know i mean i was have that thing for my mother and said well i love to see her i mean i love to see what she look like i never see her in a real life i mean i think i would maybe see her only once when i was smaller but you know i mean i would love to see her and get her organ you know i mean and ask her a few questions who my father is but like I said, I still don't know who my father is, you know, but, you know, but after your show, we just have to just understand and just know, say, yo, just have to just put in the past and move on and just focus more on my kids, you know what I mean, and my career and the people that are the struggle where, you know what I mean, where, where um, they're always just reaching out to and uplifting, you know, mm -hmm. and, and yeah. And other people who are going through things similar. So many people reached out to you. You wanted to, yeah. you were thinking of starting a foundation. You were thinking of writing yeah, a book. Yeah, yeah. You've written a song about your experience. I mean, a lot is coming out of you since that time. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? So many people across Jamaica, across the world, reach out to me and I say, yo, you know what I mean? They want me to help them, you know? And I mean, so many people out there, single mothers, them out there, who, 
in, in, a, in a the same position like me and I struggle. So boy, so them, them reach out to me, help me DJ, help me please. So I was saying, you know, the truck friend of um, poor people friend the foundation. So I wanted to say, boy, I just want to get more knowledge on it and more information on it. And, you know what I mean? Lift it up the ground and see if I could help people through that because mm-hmm. really, it's really detrimental in a mental, you know, the mental thing, you know, because sometimes, like I said, when I come on your show and, you know what I mean, and talk about it, it really get me very emotional and never even know something could have break down on them thing, you know what I mean? I channel. This really happened for national TV, you know what I mean? But I couldn't even control myself because, like I said, I'm always asking for who my mother is. My brother know her very well because my brother speak to her every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, other family members speak to her every day. Um, she reach out to a lot of um, my brother every day and, and me and my brother talk every day, but every time I reach out to him, I say, God, give me a number for mommy. I'm always hesitant and I say, boy, I don't want a problem. I mean, I say, what kind of problems? But, you know what I mean? I understand now from your show, I understand the whole thing. You know what I mean? She came out and she just make her point. I mean, I just understand that. I just know, say, yo, that's yeah. one of them things. Yeah. It, it doesn't make it easier, but it, if you accept it and just know that that's the way it is, with a, you hope it will change, but until it does, coming to the realization that you've done what you can, um, yeah. we pray that brings you some peace, you know, even yeah. as you continue yeah. to, to, work with, to work with the situation. And, and we really do hope it changes for you and she has a change of heart. I don't think that will ever happen, though. You, you, never, know. So... you never know. <laughs> you never know. No, well... Maybe I just got alone at the Almighty. You know I mean, can really go back himself. Well, he's capable of great things, so who's to tell? Um, Chuck has frozen right at the break. Um, okay, yes. Thank you very much, Chuck. Um, appreciate you so much for sharing. We do love you, and we really hope that she does have a change of heart and that you get a chance to have that discussion and that um, catharsic, uh, cathartic moment that you need to be able to help you get through this. When we come back, we meet tonight's guest. Her name is Patrice White. She's an amazing, amazing woman, a dynamo who had some issues of her own um, with her mother. She's here to tell us about those and how those have driven her to where she is in life now. We'll be right back. You want to buy a home, but you have questions like, What kind of house can I really afford? What about the paperwork? Are we really ready? Yes, we'll walk you through the process with up to 100% financing and low repayments. Home is where the happy is. Unlock yours today with VMBS. We'll get you there. Showtime, shop at Quartz. We got all the things you want. It's showtime at Quartz. It's that time of year to catch our best deals. Shop today and pay absolutely nothing for 90 days. Plus, save up to 25% off select items. Take 15% off smart TVs 50 inches and over. And lots more. Get free Quartz cash when you spend $60,000 and over on 24 to 36 months credits and only be used in January 2022. Quartz, bringing value home. Promotion ends October 21, 2021. Conditions apply. Okay, welcome back to the show. My guest tonight, fitness entrepreneur, owner of the Dynamic Lifestyle. Um, I don't know, there's so many other titles we could give her, but I'm going to allow her to show you who she is. Um, Patrice White is with me. How are you doing? I'm good, Simone. I'm, I'm so good, happy I'm to have you in that chair. You look lovely, <laughs> first you. of all. You look like, like blessing. <laughs> dash away. Well, um, I, I, I keep receiving it, and I'm yes, grateful. Yes, <laughs> in Jesus' name. Um, so you, you were telling me you watch Chuck's, Chuck's program. Yes, and it, 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 I normally listen to, um, listen to his show when I'm running. And I remember when I started listening to his, I got very emotional, and that would just have ruined my run. So when I finished my run, I actually, listen, I actually watched it versus listening to it. 
And yeah, it was an emotional show. And what was it about it that was emotional? Um, his story is kind of similar to my story. Exactly. Um, that's why it was emotional for me. Um, so to, to actually hear somebody having the same journey, same story like mine, I'm like, okay. I now understand why I talk about it. Um, talking about it gives me reassurance mm. that uh, life, is, life is what it is, you understand me? Um, my past doesn't define who I am. Um, and uh, it makes me more confident in the choice I've made to break generational curse. Yes, girl. So let's talk about that. Because your relationship with your mom was not a good one. No. Neither with your father. No. You don't, you don't, um, you don't talk don't, to your mother. I don't have a relationship with my mother, period. Um, none whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Because um, she essentially told you that you kind of ruined her life, eh? You yes, came and you yes. Um, I'm a product of teenage pregnancy. Um, and I grew up uh, right throughout my teenage years, childhood to teenage years, where I'm constantly reminded that she should have aborted me. Um, and coming into adulthood, um, it's, it's more evident. Um, we just don't have a relationship, period. Mm -hmm. Haven't spoken to her in years. Mm -hmm. Don't know where she's departing, don't know. I don't even know where she is right okay. now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then because of that parenting style, or maybe not because of, but... Um, you grew up in a community where things are pretty rough, and you I went to... I grew up in several communities, <laughs> several to, communities. Moving around. Um, I'm from Spanish Town, Comati Spanish Town. Um, lived in a few communities in Spanish Town, um, Rivoli, Tarspen, Manchester Lean, Horizon Park. Oh my God, the listing is long. Um, so I moved around a lot in Spanish Town, came to Kingston, moved around a lot in Kingston. Um, I lived with her on and off throughout high school. Um, and then when I graduated, when I left Mergrove, that was the last time I lived with her. When, when, were, you, when, were, you, when were you violated? Um, when I was living in Kencott. Um, that was when I, that's between, it's a series. Um, it was over a period of time, between the age of 13 to 15. That was when I was in high school at Mergrove. And that's like the... The Don just sent for you and you just have um, That was a done thing for me. Um, I, blame, I blame my mother, I blame my family, I blame everything. I blame, it, it was just a whole heap of things that was happening then. Um, I had that incident. Um, I was living with family at the time. Then I had the incident of when my school fee, um, CXC fee was stolen. Um, reported at Alpha Tree Police Station and family threw me out. I had to be catching with friends. Um, so it was a series of things. Um, and I just, I had built up frustration and I just started blaming my mother for everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then it reached a point where I now started accepting the fact that she should have aborted me. Because at that time, throughout high school, life just wasn't giving me a break. I mean, Pat, how do you deal with that? Between 13 and 15, you go through sexual assault. You have all of these things happen mm -hmm. to you. How do you... I mean, when I met you, I've known you for years. Yeah. Remember and you used to teach my voice? I used to, <laughs> well, yes, we did a, a voice and speech stage. <laughs> but I knew you as Pat from Bars to Go yeah. because mm -hmm. we used to work together for fame road parties. Mm -hmm. but Pat, you were such a tough cookie, tough yeah. exterior. I had, to. I had to. So now I, now I yeah. understand you looking back. It's either, it's either your situation make you strong or it breaks you. And for me, I was determined not to become a product of the inner city, which is by you reach 18, you have 20 kids with, uh, you know what I'm saying, with 20 different uh, men. So I was determined not to become a product of my circumstances. How did what you went through shape your paradigm, your representation of family? Um, so family for me, unfortunately, I mean, I don't want anybody to judge me, but it is just what it is. Um, mm -hmm. So I view, there's a lot of things that I don't, you'll not see me emotional about. Mm -hmm. I'm not emotional about that. I think we're all going to die. Um, I've told my husband over and over again, if I should die, don't waste money on you know, a funeral and all that experience. Burn my body, forgive me. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Um, You've cream, had that discussion. Yeah, man, I've had that discussion. Don't waste money. 
as a matter of fact, make them do a, make them do a run, a 5K, something to celebrate my life. Um, but I know how, we, how I view debt is because of how I, you know, my upbringing. Um, the, for, for me, family is my daughter because mm. she's my blood. Mm -hmm. So how I look at it is the only person who will not leave me, you understand me, is, is my own flesh and blood. So for me, that's my family. Um, that's your princess, my love. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh gosh, she, yeah. she's got this whole big pot. She is. She is. Oh she my is, gosh. Is, so, so um, family. And it's, yeah, and it is. It's an emotional situation in my household because you know, remember I have my husband. Mm -hmm. You understand me? You know, they're the kids. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so it's a working pro mm -hmm. um, process for me daily. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. your your initial view of family where you wanted that unit to protect mm -hmm. you um, led you into a relationship, a marriage with someone yeah. whom you had mm -hmm. known for a long time, mm -hmm. with whom you were friends, because you wanted that safety yeah. and you mm -hmm. wanted that um, kind of you know experience. Security. So you got married with the hopes of. I got um, married at nineteen. Pat, you were nineteen yes. when you got married. I got married at nineteen. Yes. <laughs> and I and tell Makila right now, <laughs> if she should ever come to me and tell me she's getting married at 19, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> she, <laughs> she needs to live life, experience life, and not run into any situation that makes her feel secure. Mm -hmm. And she believe that that's what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. You've poured yeah. into her. We're going to talk some more about yeah. Michaela on the other side and how um, Pat has gone through um, the different experiences in her life and teaching her daughter mm -hmm. from her own experiences what she ought to do as far as right choices are concerned. So we come back um, with Pat after we take this break. Not everybody can be a top-class pizza chef, but no matter what you can't do, with us, you can build wealth. With a VM Wealth Global Income Max US Portfolio, you could be on your way to your wealth goal. Let's get you started. Call us at 876-960-5000 about building your wealth today. At shopcourse.com, you can shop with ease online. We're open 24-7. There's more. We accept credit and debit cards, so there's no need to worry if you don't have a credit card. You can still shop online and pay cash in-store or via Paymaster. Shopping made easier with shopcourse.com. Conditions apply. So we're back with Pat, everybody, who was telling us before the break um, about how she was raised. You got married at 19, you yes. said. Um, did not work out. No, it did not work out. I don't want to ask you the cause of that, but I want to ask you how... Um, you said up until that point you had been in a series of relationships that were defined by abuse. Yeah. Before, so you went through yeah. some pretty rough things before you got yeah. married. Yeah. Um, I'm from an abusive home. So for me, love was, or love at the time is, if my partner is physically abusive to me. Um, so sometimes I would even instigate abuse. Really? Um, because that's for me, that's what I grew up seeing, what love was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how did, you, how did you change that um, when you got married? So when I got married, um, I had Michaela when I was actually 24. So I got married when I was 19, um, had her when I was 24. Um, when I had her, um, when I found out I was pregnant, um, I then made that decision that um, clearly God has put this child in my life. Because if it was left up to me, I'm very, very career driven, um, work focused, I would not be having a child. Um, not only that, the truth of the matter is, I don't think I would even know, if I had not have her, I would probably have a child. Because family is not that what I wanted. Mm -hmm. you know, and you said wasn't. based on the way you were raised, you never thought you could ever be a good mother. Yeah. Yes, yes I did. Um, even though I'd asked her the questions, Max, am I a good mom? You think I'm a good mom? Because remember, I'm just winning this. I don't know what it is. So when I found out I was pregnant, I had to make that decision. That decision is, am I going to carry 
forward um, to my child um, my experience, um, how it is that I grew up. Um, am I going to break that generational curse? You understand me? Um, so I made that decision then and there that I was going to try to be the best mom that I can be because mm -hmm. um, I'm going to break that curse. Mm -hmm. And you say when you had her, every single aspect of your life changed. Yeah. <laughs> you never know you could have loved somebody, so don't you? Yes. I'm telling yes, you, yes, motherhood yes, I think she, I think she abused it, you know, because she just not to wrap me on her finger. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I never knew I could become selfless. Um, when I had her, that's when I learned what it means to be selfless, because you're now putting the love for somebody before yourself. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult to mother when you just had um, her? For the first two years, um, I remember when I just had her, for the first two years, I really wasn't in her life. Um, because that was when I just started Bars to Go. Mm -hmm. So I was working, you know, it got already as a young entrepreneur, I was working right around the clock. So for the first two years, it was her father who she was with most of the time. He was like the mommy and the daddy, mm -hmm. whereas was, I was just focused because I quit my job two months after she was born, I think two or three months after she was born, um, which, you know, persons at the time who knew me thought I was crazy. Um, giving up the security of a nine-to-five monthly salary to go and try something on my own. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I was, you know, out there day, night, trying to earn that income. So for the first two years, he was there, mm -hmm. um, you know, holding down the front as a mommy and daddy mm -hmm. um, for her. Um, then when she becomes two and, you know, you reach that stage where, you know, any child knows what is going on, you know, when a parent is not there, stuff like that, etc. Um, and then business was going, you know, business was solid on itself that it could stand alone. Um, you know, I started now playing the mommy role. Um, and I think one of the reasons why I took the step back was because I don't know if I knew how to be a mm -hmm. mother. So I think that's the real reason why I probably took the step back. That's interesting. Yeah. I asked you about three, the V3 defining moments in your life, and they're all built they're all, about her. They're, all They're all about her. They're all built around her. They're all about um, her. You said one was her birth, obviously. Yes, because um, her birth changed my life. Right. Mm -hmm. The second was a discussion you guys had in the car when she was in grade five. Oh, God. <laughs> so I went through a bitter divorce, um, a bitter separation. We weren't divorced at the time. I went through a bitter separation. What basically happened in her life is she went away for, she went away for summer, summer vacation in grade four, came back to go into grade five and her world turned upside down. Mm -hmm. um, mother and father were no longer living together. Um, I spent that entire year trying to figure out myself, trying to find myself. I forgot how to, become a, um, how to be a mother, how to continue being a mother. So the signs of her you know, performing bad in school, and this is a, this is a child right up to grade four, she was an A student at prep school. So I forgot and I was lost and caught up in the whole, everything else that was not Michaela related, mm -hmm. that I forgot how to be a mother and how to be there for my child. And when I got her report, I got a report from an A student to, I'm looking at 20% 20, 20 average. I'm looking at some things I'm like, I remember we both sat in that van and I looked at her and I'm like, she's crying because I have high expectations for her so she feels academically she's... and she thinks she has let me it's down. Yes. And I'm crying, no, Michaela, I let you down as a parent. So, you know, after we got through that crying drama, I made a promise to her that Max, you're going to GSAT, you're going to good in GSAT, we're going to figure it out, you understand what I'm saying? But anything it is that is bothering you, no matter what it is, because that was when she explained to me that her divorce ruined her life, the separation ruined her life, because we weren't legally divorced, and we were just separated. The, you know, her world was turned upside down because she went away and... She went away... And when she came back, her parents were not living together anymore. And if she was here, she'd think that they would still be living together. To that, oh, she to, thought if yes, she was? she was here. To this day, 
Michaela don't want, every time summer comes, it now becomes a girl trip. Because to this day, she's like, I'm not going away any summer without you. Because I remember the last time I traveled in the summer by myself, I remembered what happened. Oh my gosh. So that's how our summer now, vacation now becomes a girl trip. Patrick, you were doing the best with what you had. I mean, as somebody who's gone through divorce, yeah. you really do get to a point where you have to self-preserve everything outside of you. You not even, you not even know how you exist. True. Some days. So I True. completely get. And I, I just went through a cut-off mode. I just cut off everybody around me. Like, we had similar friends. Every, so I just cut everybody mm -hmm. around. Um, which, again, is, a, is like uprooting her out of her comfort zone. Because these are, these are, th this was a comfortable situation that she was also in. Mm -hmm. So I just, yeah. But she has given you feedback. And she's told you that you are indeed a great mother. I try. I even try, even I as try. she makes her big plans and you guys make your big plans to take over the world. I try, because yeah. the next defining moment was in so her the coming to you the other day. the next defining moment was last year. Mm -hmm. um, when she started in Macalette, she told me that she wanted to become a doctor. So she wanted to go into medicine. Then COVID hit last year. When COVID hit, um, I remember it was in May. She came to me. Um, she didn't come to me. She actually sent me an email. She wrote a very long letter. Now, anybody who knows my child, she's Virgo, so she's a planner. She mm -hmm. plans everything, and this is how she is. She knows she has a strong mother, and she knows that if she's going to approach me, she knows that she has to come good. Mm. So she wrote me a letter in terms of to explain to me that she no longer wants to become a doctor, um, and this is a career path that she wants to, to go down, she wants to choose, which is she wants to go into culinary. Mm -hmm. She, she loves food, she loves cooking, she wants to follow her passion. Mm -hmm. um, so what she did was, this is what she wanted to do. She, you know, she, she went ahead. I don't know if it was UTEC site she went on, but she get the cost for the school fee, name of the program, how long the program is going to be, you understand me? And then she wrote a five-year plan when she finished school. You know, where she's going to work to, you know, lead into her starting her own business. I'm going to take it from you. We can pick it back up on the other side. But, but obviously, Michaela has transformed your life. So we're going to do a transformational moment for today's mm -hmm. show, powered by VM. Lori? Dear Mom, ever since I was a little girl, I have watched you put your all into your work so you could provide a better life for me than you had. Regardless of all the hard work and dedication you have displayed over the years, you still put me first, made time for me, took care of me, and made our mother-daughter bond one of your biggest priorities. As such, you have shown me that it is possible to strive for your dreams and become successful in life while keeping those who matter most closest to you and caring and loving them at all times. I admire your worth ethic and it's something that you have instilled in me throughout all my years of schooling and something you are now instilling in me business-wise. You inspire me to do my best in all my endeavors, approach my work with a positive and strong attitude and to always get back up when I'm not down or faced with a challenge. Thank you for always being there for me, for allowing me to follow my dreams, and for all the memories we have made and continue to make. Love, Michaela. Oh my God. No, for Michaela to do that, it's because she doesn't like the camera. Well, she told us she wouldn't come. Yes, yeah, she doesn't. She, yeah, she doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't like the camera. She. In order for me to get her on camera, I have to beg her. She doesn't like it. She well, literally doesn't like it. Did you hear her heart? Yes, I didn't yeah. even realize it was her. <laughs> you told me it was poured. <laughs> I'm expecting an ad. <laughs> no. I'm no, expecting an ad. No, VM4 was our transformational moment. I'm um, expecting an ad. That's all your, that's all your princess. Yes. And you know, Pat, when I hear her and I hear you talk about her and her drive, it's you. It's all you. So as much as you were doubting, you know, what kind of mother you would be, success is, has shown its face to you. More with Pat when we come back. You want to buy a home, but you have questions like, what kind of house can I really afford? What about the paperwork? Are we really ready? Yes. We'll walk you through the process with up to 100% financing and low repayments. Home is where the happy is. Unlock yours today with VNBS. We'll get you there. Showtime shop at Quartz. We got all the things you want. It's Showtime at Quartz. It's 
that time of year to catch our best deals. Shop today and pay absolutely nothing for 90 days. Plus, save up to 25% off select items. Take 15% off smart TVs 50 inches and over. And lots more. Get free courts cash when you spend $60,000 and over on 24 to 36 months credits and only be used in January 2022. Courts bringing value home. Promotion ends October 21, 2021. Conditions apply. We're back with Pat, who's dried her tears, and we're going to continue the discussion. Um, Pat, when you when you got divorced, you said that was a very difficult time in your life. You were in your thirties, yeah, and you had to question, no, what does a thirty-year-old? What does a thirty-year-old do with a child? Single mom with a so child. So single, too. would somebody want me? Yeah. Is it yeah, me like with a child or want me, Pat? Um, want me, Pat, and then me, Pat, with a child. Me is a whole package, you know. Me alone is a whole package, you know. Simone, I have a very, <laughs> very strong personality. Me, I tell? Oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> yes. I do. So, you know, you start questioning, um, you know, will you even find love? Will yeah. you even find... You, you know what I'm saying? And I like, I like the idea of marriage. So, because I thought that I would not find love, I was just good with the little dream of me I tell you about. Mm, you understand? And me? then came down. <laughs> and then... And, and then, then came down. <laughs> who is who is equally strong? I mean, you're different people, but you're both yeah, strong people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did you manage to? <sighs> um, I mean, Don and I started out. We started out at fr as friends. Mm -hmm. So you know, I think that made it much much easier. Um, how it is that we started out, and then um, he was the first person that I see Michaela around. That Michaela, you know. She, she's a child, she, you know, let down her guard, and she's just, you know, as a mother, when you see it, you know you see it. Oh, yes. You understand me? Oh, yes. Um, and that was, that was one of the things that really, really attracted me to him. It's like, he was just daddy mood. Mm -hmm. Daddy mood, and the love and the chemistry with him and her is just... And the sheep approves then. Yeah, yeah. But and she loved him from day one. But also, the notion that... He was encouraging you, and still is, to, mm -hmm. to face your demons head yeah. on. Yeah. And to go and deal with some of the things that you have packed yeah. and locked away. Yeah. Um, he has. Um, he still does. Whenever I get, um, like last week, I was actually in, mm -hmm. you know, that mental state because of what's going on now with the pandemic. Um, and, you know, he's the type of person, but like, Pat, you, you're going back there. You're mm -hmm. sinking back there. You get where I'm coming from? Um, if I'm really there badly, he's not afraid to say to me, you need to talk to your therapist. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. And had you started therapy before yes, him? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. No, okay. not before him. So he encouraged um, you to... I started therapy, um, I think it was two years after, two years after we got married. Mm -hmm. um, I did it probably like two times and I'm like, well, one therapist is going to tell me <laughs> about, my, about myself for me no know. Me for just sit down and have conversations with, and I stop. Um, but then in October 28, 2018, is it 2018 or 2019? Yeah, in, I think it's 2018. I don't remember. I think it's 2018 or 2019. I tried killing myself. Um, he wasn't here. Wait, no, what? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. It is. You didn't? 20, yeah, it's 2018. It's 2018. So in 2018, um, everybody would see on social media that I was traveling all over the world. I was traveling, I was running. All over the world, running, etc. And uh, um, the October, I picked up an injury when I came back from a race. Um, one of the reasons why I run is because of the fact of, I, I suffer from is. clinical depression. Um, so that's one of the, reason, the main reasons why I run a lot. It's my time, you know, just to hear your, your thoughts and therapy for yourself. Um, and in October, I came to a standstill. I was no longer moving because of that injury that I picked up. And I remember calling, um, you know, my best friend, one of my best friends. I called Janelle in the night and I called and I said to her, I'm going to, I started crying. I'm going to drive my vehicle down Manor Park put the vehicle in the road, I just want a chichi bus to lick me. And she went into react reaction mode. She called Michaela, 
where are you? Makeda said, upstairs. She's like, no matter what you do, do not make your mother drive out. And then, you know, Makeda was just scared, going to overprotection mode. Um, the next morning, she didn't want to go to school. Um, and Immaculate has a has very strict rule, no cell phone. And she's like, I don't want to go to school because I don't want to get a phone call when I turn on my phone when school is out saying that my mother is no longer here with me. Um, and then I had Janine write me a very long letter mm -hmm. saying, a very long WhatsApp saying, Pat, you have to get professional help. Mm -hmm. Because it's very scary going to bed Waking up not knowing if my best friend is still going to be there. And the truth is, so Pat, you, that you, couldn't when, ca you can't carry it yeah. alone. So that was when I decided to get professional help, this time with no judgment. So this is after, I'm putting the pieces yeah. together, this is after you'd remade yourself, lost yeah, all man, the weight, after lost you gone all from the weight, 205 so, pounds yeah, to, mm -hmm. you know, and, yeah. and people see you travelling the world people and think... People travelling the world and saying, wow, she's living the lifestyle. One of the reasons why I was running around the world, traveling the world, is because I just did not want to be home alone with my thoughts. So, it's, you know, it's not like you're doing it. Yes, I love traveling. Yes, I love running. But also, you don't want to be left with what was going on here. So you're trying to run away. So, yeah, if you want to put it like that. Um, and then that was when, without judgment, I decided I was going to get professional help. And that was when I also, the whole idea of the mental health tour that I was doing in school yes. started. That so was what birthed, what that was what birthed the, the tour idea. Because I'm like, um, <sighs> people ask me when I was doing the tour, why doing it in schools? I'm like, I was one of the problematic kids that was at school. Um, you know, I've been through the fights. My mother come school, come, come beat me left, right and center because she get the phone call, you know, from principal, I'm in fights, stuff like that, etc. But for me, me acting out in school had to do with what was taking place at home. Exactly. So it was a perfect time to go into the school for the kids to understand that, hey, it's okay to say that I'm not okay. It's okay to say that I need help. It's okay to, you understand me? Um, if I didn't mm. have my principal that intervened in my life at high school, I'd probably have ended up being a kid of the state. You understand me? How many kids had that, mm -hmm. have that opportunity? Mm -hmm. So this is the reason why I brought the health tour in the school. Wow, Pat. Wow. Yeah. So God bless Janine. Yeah, God, yeah, God and bless her. God Dad. bless her. I tell her. And Jesus. all the people in your life who love and support you. <laughs> and yeah. here they are. Oh, my. Here they are. Yeah. But Simone, you don't know them. Well, do we? When I think of you, what comes to mind is resilience, focus, determination, a fighter, someone that is truthful. You say it as it is. You say it as all you see it. Right? When, when you and I were training for our marathon runs that we usually do, and that day that we ran from Manor Park to Port Royal, that day, when we passed past airport and we were heading towards Port Royal, you were in so much pain. And I tell you, I looked at you and you put you were pushing through. And I'm like, no man, that lady here, she's a fighter. I love this lady. And I'm happy to call you friend. Wanted to just pass through and show you some love. Take time to just say thank you for being a constant inspiration to not just only myself but to other persons whether directly and indirectly who interact with you on a day-to-day -day basis or people who just see you on social media you have used your experiences in life and made it something that we can use as an example for positivity and growth and it's been a blessing to have you as a friend and to watch you inspire other people as well. It is a privilege and honor to refer to you as family. I'd like to take this opportunity to express to you all in the that I want you. I hope the Lord continues to bless you, to be the motivator that you are, the warrior that you are, the inspirational person that you are. 
you are you're an amazing person. Um, you're a great friend, great mother, great wife. Uh, continue to be dynamic, continue to change lives, and never stop being you. It's an honor to be able to call you my family, my sister. You've taught me invaluable lessons that I'll never, ever, ever forget. I appreciate you for being the person that you are, the friend that you are, the sister that you are, the mother that you are to Michaela. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being you. I've seen you grow over the years. It's been a journey. And you've crossed the other side to the other side because you've come out stronger and better than where you started. I just want to tell you, my friend, continue. Continue being you and continue doing the things that you do. To say that you are an inspiration is truly an understatement. When we met, uh, I remember thinking uh, this woman who came from so little, have been through so much and has given so much to her child, to her family, to her business, um, only can come from someone who is driven and I don't, I don't quite know that I know anyone who is as driven as you are. Uh, to see you make this change uh, in your career, I watched you go through it. I've, we have had our moments of talks and sharing about this. Um, some of them not so great, some of them not so happy, but we stuck it out. And I watch you inspire so many people every single day. Not just in Jamaica, all around the world, people are listening to you, they're taking your advice, they are expecting you to tell them the next great thing, the next big thing, uh, and how to lead their wellness and their healthy lifestyle. That, my dear, is a treasure. It's a treasure to me as your husband, uh, because I'm extremely proud of you. But I think it's more a treasure to your daughter, Michaela, because she looks at you and she sees someone that she can continually pull inspiration from every single day. And I believe what you're doing and what you have done and what you're still to do is going to be world changing. And you are indeed an inspiration to me and to so many of our friends and our family, but more importantly, to so many strangers who sometimes we don't know the people we impact, but we impact them anyway. Continue to do what you do, my love, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. I love you. I love you, Pat. Just wanted to tell you said, you know what said. All right, peace. Once more, I am so proud of you. And I'd, like, I'd just like to give you the roses and show you some love and appreciation. That's my circle. That's my circle. You realize what all of them are consistent with? Michaela. You realize? She is your why. Yeah. She's my why. Um, she's the reason why I'm growing every day. Mm -hmm. She's the reason why I go hard for business. Because um, I have to set a good example for her. Um, she's the reason why um, when I was at that bitter point in my life, I reached out to her father and said to her father, yo, we need to do this. Because when my 15-year-old look at me and tell me that, I ain't, she ain't giving me any grandkid because she ain't getting married. All marriages end in divorce. And she's not going to be fighting over any children. That is a learnable lesson. That's a teachable lesson. Mm -hmm. As a parent, mm -hmm. that you know that what you're doing is wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, you're doing many other things right, <laughs> as is evidenced by her, um, her sojourn now to go and start her new career. You've yes, inspired yes. her. When we come back, we'll wrap things up with Pat after this break. Soon mm -hmm. come.
Not everybody can be a top-class pizza chef, but no matter what you can't do, with us, you can build wealth. With a VM Wealth Global Income Max US portfolio, you could be on your way to your wealth goal. Let's get you started. Call us at 876-960-5000 about building your wealth today. Everybody, we're back with Pat to wrap things up. So tell me, lady, where you are now in your um, life. You're still working through stuff, but are you at I'm a... still working through stuff um, mentally, um, but I'm at a good place um, family-wise. I'm at a good place business-wise. You know, things just happening and happening and <laughs> happening. Tell me what's happening, what's happening? <laughs> so you, start, you opened a, a, it's not um, really a gym, it's a, it's a health and... It's, it's wellness. a health, health and wellness center. I don't like using the word gym because we go outside of the workout element mm -hmm. of it. It's a community. Mm -hmm. So I like the word health and wellness. Um, you know, I was able to open my studio space again, courtesy of Don. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Don pushes me um, a lot when situations don't seem favorable. Um, so I have that. Um, I also have now built a very strong online platform where... I do virtual training. Um, you know, it's like every time I do interviews and I talk about it, the countries just keep going up. So like right now I'm in over 45 countries worldwide oh, where I do really? virtual training. Um, you know, I've been the brand ambassador for um, Brunswick, you know, my tuna brand for the past five years. And I just signed on as the Elton Wellness um, ambassador for, for Guardian Life. Oh, yeah, for Guardian Life, yeah. Um, so a lot has been happening business-wise. Outside of that, I do also um, micro-influencer stuff for um, other companies um, in terms of getting the health and wellness out there, in terms of getting outside of health and wellness, but to make sure that um, persons also understand. We have a big campaign that I've just aligned a partnership with, can't talk about it yet. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully by the time you show here, mm -hmm. yeah, no, mm -hmm. cancel it. It's okay. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully by then it will be public knowledge to continue doing the advocacy work that I've been doing re mental health um, to bring it now on a larger platform, not just Jamaica but also globally. So aren't you glad you did not stop? I am, I am glad I did not stop. I am grateful for life. The last year and odd has now shown me how grateful it is that I am to be alive, mm -hmm. you know, based on what is going on. It's just that sometimes it becomes overwhelming. Um, I am the one who's always strong and therefore everybody. So sometimes I want to be weak. I want to, you know, have that, you know, strong person taking up but strong yeah. people are weak too. I mean, no strong person is strong all the time. Yeah, but... That's who we are as human beings. We have good days, we have um, not so good... When you have those days when you feel like you want yeah. to be weak, do you allow yourself those days? Um, sometimes I do. So like, yes, and I'll tell you why. For me, when it gets to the point where I'm going into that zone and I'm weak, um, I normally go out and run. Okay. Now with lockdowns and stuff like that, you get in the zone, you can't go out and run. You understand me? I can't run to my gate. That's not going to do anything. Um, then you just you use it as an excuse mm -hmm. and then you start feeling sorry for yourself and you just start wallowing. Um, but do you have the tools from therapy now to, to flag when that is coming out? I have on the tools to... from therapy to flag, when, you know, to flag the signs. And how to deal with it. How to deal with it. Also, I have that support system. Correct. There. I have right. that support system there, which is very, very vital. Yeah. So whenever the signs come there, you understand me, it's just for me to reach out to my therapist or the support system that is there. Okay. And now, now that Michaela is, 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 you know, becoming a young adult. And going to leave you? And going to leave then me. Then how are you going to manage yeah. when she's gone to Paris? We're not going because she leaves in January for college. But um, she's also a very strong support system mm -hmm. for me. Um, if I come in and I look away... Mom, remember, you tell us not to hide anything. I'm here. Talk mm -hmm. to me. 
You understand me? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, she also helped a lot, um, given the fact that she has her own business, and we're also doing our, you know, we're Thing building together. our own. Yeah, man, you um, know, when that the business they take off, <laughs> look out the world. Yeah, man, we're building our own empire together. Um, both of us coming out with ebooks. She's coming out with her Eat Clean ebook. You understand me? I'm coming out with my um, Get Ready for Christmas ebook. Um, so just the whole collaboration of us working together and, and driving looking. each other. It's yeah. a beautiful, yeah. beautiful So that thing. alone will not allow me to get into that negative space. Excellent, Pat. Last word for um, people watching who've been through circumstances similar to yours. Never thought they would amount to be um, much because your of... Your circumstances I, um, doesn't define who you are or where you're going. I grew up in poverty, you understand me? I am... I've built a successful business, then I've gotten broke again. Mm -hmm. You get where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. your first and business fail. Exactly. And I have to start back over. So where you're coming from don't determine where you're going. Um, I, leave, I leave a valuable lesson though. Anybody it is that puts you down because of where you come from, um, use that as your driving force to get ahead. Um, my first job, very, very first job, was not the McDonald's job that I applied for. My very first job was to apply. Um, I applied at a financial institution. Um, I didn't get the job. Don't know if I was you know, eligible to get it. But I, the, my takeaway from that job out of the interview was when one of the interviewers looked at me and said to me that going forward, never put my Seaview Gardens address when I'm looking for a certain type of job. That became my driving force to success, um, to, su um, to succeed in business. Mm -hmm. Because I remember saying to that person that the name Patrice Wilson, you'll never forget that name. And years later, mm -hmm. when I started Bars to Go, that financial institution became one of my biggest clients. Hey. And she was the one who reminded me what I said because I didn't even remember then. Hey, hey. You understand me? So suppose I was still or using my past to determine where I was going to get. The circumstances suppose I was, don't define. Suppose I was this, dissuaded by what she said. Mm -hmm. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so here your you circumstances mm -hmm. do not dictate, do not determine where you'll go in life, who you'll become. That's it. Punta final from Pat. Mm -hmm. um, and all we have to do after that is to do the affirmation mm -hmm. and wrap the show. So here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so the spirit that dwells within us, as you can see, is so strong that even when we think we are done, we are not out. Because life is a marathon. We all think we have a race plan, but our race plans are never perfect. And with every mile, there will be pain. There's going to be injury, you're going to get thirsty, and you're going to even want to pull over and stop. But don't. One foot in front of the other. One step at a time on your own clock. You don't have to finish fast. Just try to finish. These days, starting is such a daunting task that staying the journey, oh my gosh, much less to go finish after that. But Pat is proof that you can run your own race and win. Just pace yourself. And with swollen feet and everything else that you feel, once you don't stop, you would have completed your journey. Tonight we are affirming, life is a marathon. I will run my own race at my own pace. And that is it for our show for this evening. Some soul food that we're leaving you with. Thank you, my friend, for being here with me tonight. And thank you for watching. We will be back next week with another story of the power of the human spirit. So until then, every blessing. And please remember to count your blessings.